Hi, I'm Alan and thanks for joining me. Today's episode is rather special in itself as it is one before my 200th episode that I'll be publishing this Sunday and that's going to be a look back at the channel and how it started. So please do look out for that one, my 200th episode. It is unbelievable. <laughs> I've done that many but uh, I think in the last year with all your encouragement and support <laughs> you've asked me to produce the videos and I have done my best to do so <laughs> to keep you all entertained. Today's video is filmed in and around the marina in the last week or so and I hope you enjoy watching. Well, who's a lucky boy then? I am. I've been sent another gift. I am expecting one parcel only that I'm aware of and it's from Brenda. So I'm assuming this is it. <laughs> so thank you very much Brenda. I will check with you later to make sure it is from you. <laughs> but uh, meanwhile I'm going to open it and let's see what we have. I've made a start on opening it because it's so very well packaged and people tell me it's not safe to play with knives and things which is exactly what I have to use so I've done a little bit off camera already but I'm going to carry on now and see how far I can get. I do have a knife handy with a retractable blade and I have some scissors so I'm now going to use the scissors and see how I get on. Oops, bits and pieces flying about. Sorry about that. I don't want pieces going out into the water. So here it is. <laughs> Oops, another piece of paper flying about. Oh dear. <laughs> yes, it is very well packaged indeed. I'm going to have to do a bit more cutting. This is something heavy coming out. Certainly very well wrapped. Oh, some form of jam, I think. Oh, lovely. Homemade strawberry jam. What could be nicer than that? But that's not all, because there's something else in here as well. <laughs> Another jar. orange and ginger marmalade. That's great because I do love ginger and I love ginger in with things so to have orange and ginger marmalade that's absolutely wonderful. Thank you so much Brenda and strawberry jam as well. That's very kind of you to think about me. Thank you so much. Well, the weather has broken. <laughs> it hasn't stopped raining since last evening. <laughs> and it's now sort of lunchtime. Incredible, really. We've had a good run of lovely weather. So it had to break at some stage. <laughs> but uh, didn't think it would be so concentrated as it is. big question is do I fancy having a go at the jigsaw? <laughs> Someone has done the border but not really started the inside <laughs> and it looks rather a difficult one to me <laughs> so <laughs> I'll just spend a few minutes here and see how I get on. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I'm going to have the patience for doing this puzzle. <laughs> it just doesn't appeal at all. <laughs> well, I've given up doing the puzzle. <laughs> it's very, very hard. I say given up, I will give it another go. But uh, it's lunchtime. I only came up to check the post and there was some post for me. So I collected that. So now I'm making my way back to the boat. It just doesn't want to stop raining. I had to stop filming yesterday, but this is as far as I got. I did get some pieces linked together, but I'm finding it very, very hard indeed. Very hard. Unless I can get into a puzzle, I do lose interest very quickly. So I think I'll let someone else have a go. They might be able to do a better job than me. lovely my first cup of coffee of the day <laughs> today is june the 21st or the 21st of june whichever you prefer and it is the summer solstice which means we're going to have 16 hours and 38 minutes of sunshine or perhaps i should say daylight the sun rose at 4 52 this morning and is going to set at 9.26 this evening. Now those of you who are quick and bright <laughs> might work out there's a four minute difference there between the hours and minutes and the start and end times. Now I don't know why that is because though that information came from an article I read this very day. So we've somehow lost four minutes <laughs> or gained four minutes depending on your point of view. You probably noticed that I'm drinking from the Forgo narrowboating mug. I should say that these are available from the Forgo narrowboating store together with other merchandise. We now have leggings for the ladies. I gather these can be very useful in the colder weather to wear under your trousers or skirts. <laughs> and also we have a wanted mug and wanted t-shirt and these are proving very popular so if you are interested take a look at our merchandising store and I should also mention my own store as well because I have a selection of mugs available this is a particular nice one I like the the pink on this one it has a cheese top roll at the back and a picture of me <laughs> on the other side and that is available in the color of your choice you can get blue ones, which are quite nice. The blue one has a sort of washed out picture of me and my name on it. I've also got a white one as a sample here. So if you are interested, please look at my store. <laughs> This is the abandoned swan's nest. I'm hoping I might see them a bit later.
I'm just going for a walk along the towpath for something I'm going to show you. There is an issue here with a culvert. I don't know all the details, but some repair is obviously needed. I'm just walking up to Bridge 17 to see if I can see the Canada geese and their goslings. You may recall I spotted them on my recent canal side walk. As I can't see them, I'm going to head back now to the marina. Although the sun isn't shining, it's actually quite a pleasant day. There is a breeze but it's quite pleasant. So uh, nice just to come out for a quick walk along the towpath. Back in the marina now, walking up the embankment. <laughs> Some while since I've been this way. Getting big now, aren't they? <laughs> Thank you. 
us have organised. Yeah, so I'm doing the same. What does the picture look like? Yeah, sure, you look okay. I look a bit illuminated. I'm going to have to draw some curtains, I think. It seems quite bright here. Yeah, you're quite bright, but it's going to get dark later. It's really hard, so just, it's I have got a, I have got a light yeah. shining on me. Is that? Yeah. Hey, I'm just trying to get some curtains drawn. Try the other one. Ah, that's me done. Do you're I? You're okay. Am I looking okay now? Yeah, excellent. Yep. Jolly yep. good. Good idea. Switch the power on. There we go. Have you told uh, the Have you told the lads, uh, Ian, the yes. guests from? Yes, August? I've told them. They are all aware. Thank you very much. Go out and film. If I don't, I don't film. I'm not, I don't put myself under pressure. That's the thing. Not to put myself under pressure. It's just to do it when I feel good. Well, you know? Like in the past, then, have, have you ever done photography? Because some of the shots you get. Yeah. You, I was just going to say that. I hope you enjoyed that look at my last week or so in the marina. <laughs> things that have been going on, things I've been up to. If I'm looking a bit flushed, it's because this afternoon I've just done an engine service. The sun is up to my right. It's been a glorious day. It's been out right from the start of the morning. It's been quite heavy going, <laughs> working in the bright sunshine. <laughs> I did put some old clothes on and a different cap, but uh, I'm probably looking a bit red, I should think. I didn't film the engine service on this occasion. I did, though, look back to the film I made last year. <laughs> I found that a great help. You may recall that last year, after I changed the fuel filters, I couldn't get the engine to start. And the reason for that, although I didn't realise it at the time, was that the pump had packed up. Now I got a lot of advice last year saying that when you change the filters you should fill them with diesel but I can assure you with an electric pump that is not necessary. I changed both filters, I then switched the ignition on, the pump pumped the diesel into the system and through and then the engine fired up. It was very very straightforward no bleeding or anything special needed to be done. So um, that worked a treat. <laughs> so, but I didn't film on this occasion. I just wanted to crack on. And as I say, it's pretty much the same as what I did last year, no different. I've changed the, the fuel filters, the engine oil, and I managed to do a better job on the gearbox oil this year. So I'm very pleased with that. So yeah, it's been good. <laughs> A couple of things to mention. We had the Forgo narrowboating live stream yesterday, as many of you will know. We will be announcing in a few days' time our next guest for July, so look out for that announcement. That will be made on Facebook and uh, Instagram, other social media, so look out for that. Some of you will be aware that there has been an issue at Watford Locks you will also know that I occasionally volunteer there. What actually happened was at some stage last weekend a hole appeared in one of the quadrants. The quadrant is that quarter area where you walk when you open and shut a gate. You push the balance beam and you walk around that particular area and literally underfoot a hole has appeared. I gather it's about 10 foot deep. I've not seen it myself, but many thanks to Alan for providing me with a couple of pictures.
They did close the locks for a day or two so they could be assessed by an engineer. The engineer decided that it was okay to carry on operating the locks but as they can't um, push the balance beam and the gate by hand apparently they're using ropes and that is slowing down the process. So I'm not sure how many boats are going through now on a daily basis. The lock opening hours are 10 to 4 and if it's a slower process it will mean fewer boats can get through. I would say on a good day 30 boats can go through. Depends on time of arrival. It depends on so many different things but uh, Generally, when I was there last time, we did, I think, 27 or 28 boats. So it has been fairly busy. And that's nearly your limit, I think. And that keeps, keeps the volunteers very busy, I have to say. So that's just an update on Watford Locks. The big news, really, is that on Sunday, if all goes to plan, and I'm sure it will, I shall be publishing my 200th video. So I'm making it a little bit special. It's a look back to the channel and when I started. So please look out for that. It was a bit iffy when I started. Was I going to do it? Wasn't I? My presentation was poor, that sort of thing. And I discussed that and you'll get to see. I show a few clips from some of the films I've made and discuss some of the films that I've done. So um, look out for that one, please. Meanwhile, I hope you're keeping safe and well, looking after yourselves, your friends and families. Do take the utmost care with whatever you're doing. Until Sunday, <laughs> I'll say bye for now.